Hey guys, uh, Crazy here. I just wanted to go over some Diablo 4 stuff for the season. So the season's been, these loot were born, lots of cool loot to do. And uh, with that, it makes it so you kind of want to make a lot of alts. And so we had a minion necromancer, really powerful. And I uh, decided to make a different necromancer, just kind of try out this Ebon Piercer necklace. Ended up being extremely powerful and just a lot of fun to play really. So I figured I'd go over like a build video of explaining what i did for him in hardcore and uh how i've been using it to get through hardcore with so uh i've made a uh mobile lytics for it so i'll, I'll put that in the comments you can go ahead and check out exactly how the build goes i go into um I'll probably put the paragons on there a little bit later if they're not on there just yet I'll show you the skills which we can go over just real quick uh, doesn't really matter what you do here until you're leveling. Um, when you're leveling, you can kind of choose which one of these skills you want to use. Main skills Blight, because we're using the Ebon Piercer Necklace to shoot out multiple different projectiles every time we cast Blight. And then Blood Mist, Crepify, Corpse Tendrils, and Bone Storm are the main things, and that's how we're doing most of the damage. Every t and then Shadow Blight, of course, because Blight, um, allows you just do a whole ton of damage every single time you get to that 10 stacks 120 percent more damage on a ring and 200 like percent plus on a two-headed weapon so let me go over like why the build's so powerful for hardcore and why i was having so much fun with it so with the minion build you're kind of sitting back and you're letting the golem do a lot of damage and your minions they don't always follow what you want to do it was kind of like bugging me a little bit so using the ebon piercer amulet you're mainly just shooting out projectiles and stacking that debuff right there where it says blight also shoots four smaller projectiles that pierce enemies and deal shadow damage over three seconds so the more times you stack that shadow damage in three seconds the more damage you're going to be doing this build. Um, so you just kind of run in as you're running in you're already debuffing the targets throw a bone storm massive amount of uh, damage reduced and you're doing more damage and then you have your curse going full time curse is up constantly be hitting things and cooling down the ultimate as you see bone storms getting cooled down and then throw down corpse tendrils to group everything up throw vulnerability up you're just doing shit tons of damage yes uh once you stacked enough attack uh, enough essence gain you're gonna have attack speed and then you're just gonna sit there and just gonna spam and the more that you can stack this up the more damage you're gonna do and the more it's gonna tick um really really easy really easy concept really fun to do uh you're kind of a caster build makes it kind of fun for a necromancer and for anybody that's tired of using minions yes for softcore throw the golem out you're doing no minions at all full sacrifice build for hardcore i'd leave the golem in just just for the unstoppable and the um the damage reduce but other than that it's going to be the main thing so you go in got your unstoppable up start throwing your, your blights just kind of like a rundown on how you're gonna play it each, each blight you throw up stacks does more damage you're gonna throw up your curse bone storm and group everything up with your corpse members. this makes it a really really fun gameplay i think if you think it's dangerous you can kind of sit in the back throw out blights not have to worry about too much go back in you have a cooldown you're kind of waiting for you can throw up uh decrepify and you just throw out a whole bunch of lights and when you're throwing those out as you see it cools down whatever cooldown you can use blood mist just go ahead and throw up your decrepify start throwing out a couple of lights blood mist is going to cool down right away and you'll have it back up pretty safe build i would highly recommend this for hardcore i recommend it for softcore it's going to be really good for softcore as well but uh the character happens to be hardcore so that's what we're making the video for um early game just to explain how it works corpse explosion for your essence gain and then late game you're going to move into corpse tendrils since you really don't have any of the vulnerable um when you're leveling and then you're going to have your bar kind of set up like this towards the end. This is the highest survivability I've seen. I've tried a few different things. This has been my most comfortable in the pits. Um, as for gear, let's kind of show you what kind of gear we're wearing. I'm using Harlequin Crest right now. 
I do show you on the mobilitics what you need, but let's just kind of go over it real quick. Uh, early game, you're going to do a bunch of HP, maximum life on all your gear, because it's really easy to get that. Late game, you're going to go for the blood misturation, because blood misturation is the only way you're going to be able to keep it up almost 100% uptime with your golem attacking the boss while your while your decrepify is cooling everything down. So go ahead and do that. Late game, you're going to also use a two-hander, since you'll be able to keep Bone Storm up 100%. And your two-hander is going to use Blight, which is going to make you do a bunch more damage. So, really fun build. Let's go ahead and, uh, if, if you're interested in how all the skills and the Paragon and everything is going to work, go check out the Mobilitics in the comments there. And uh, I, I go into detail on how I think you should do everything. And let's go ahead and watch a few instances of uh, what I think is pretty good. So, just taking into context that this was right before the the patch hit so the pits were just a little bit more difficult after the patch hits i'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do a lot more difficult content but you'll see a shred through 61 plus uh pits and you go through them just with no problem at all and that's mainly what a hardcore character is looking for is hey can i get to 61 plus so that i can get that uh mat so that i can do my final masterwork 